us through In my darkness, it's all darkness Like a fire, it consumes All my fears and my failures It's your grace that overwhelms Like a flood, straight from heaven Your hope opens eyes To the floodgates of heaven Jesus, King of the earth, let the heavens proclaim your word. The one true God defeated the grave. We join with angels to sing your praise. Jesus, King of the earth, let the heavens proclaim your word. The one true God defeated the grave. Join with angels to sing your praise. So the throne is the power of darkness. It's all darkness. It lost its hope when you came with your kindness and your goodness. And your love breaks the chains of my heart, of my mind. Your power. Says free of the captives and you bring peace. Jesus, King of the earth, let the heavens proclaim your word. The one true God defeated the grave. We join with angels to sing your praise. Jesus, King of the earth, let the heavens proclaim your word. One true God defeated the grave. We join with angels to sing your praise. To sing your praise. Oh, my soul.
So oh. 
stuck open. Praise God. He's a good God. Breakthrough is coming. If you don't let go, breakthrough is coming. I mean that. I know it's happening. There's things happening right now. Amen. Hold on. He will bring you through. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say breakthrough is coming. Say it like you mean it now. There you go. Some faith. Praise God. Want to keep going? All right. Praise God if we'll have a seat for just a moment, but don't stop worshiping. Amen. Don't stop praising. Amen. Amen. There's no breaks in heaven. Amen. It's all one long praise service. And the word's there. It's so We got to think about that for a minute. I mean, really think, this is all temporary. Whatever we're striving for, if it's really not eternal, it's not going to matter. Amen? Amen? You're going to be in the safest place, the happiest place. It's not Disneyland. Amen? It's not. We're going to the best place in the world for the person that loves us the most. Amen? Praise God. I'm just excited. If you'll, uh, if you'll get ready to uh, honor and worship God uh, with your finances right now, and while we're doing that, let's start with our first-time guests. Who was our first-time guest? God bless you. God bless you. There's no hazing here. It's okay. You can raise your hand. I promise. God bless you. Amen. Welcome. Welcome. God bless you. We're glad you're here. Amen. It makes a difference. We're glad you're here. Because if, if you don't show up, pastor said it'll shut down the place. You guys think I'm kidding, but I know pastor well enough. He said, if I keep seeing the same faces over and over again, then we've got a club or a clique, and we're not making a difference. So we got to keep bringing in the fresh blood, or we won't have no more services. And Pastor Robert really likes, you know, he likes being here, so, amen? Praise God. First time guests, we're glad you're here. After service in the bookstore, we have a, a little something for you. We'd also like you to fill out a form. We'd like to find out how you heard about us, how we can pray for you. Um, we've also got Bibles. If you need a Bible, please go in the bookstore. We've got them for you, amen? Word of God, you need it. All right, so sisters, sisters in the house, 
Guys, you got to catch this. They were like right on it. Amen? All right. Well, sisters, this Friday night is your night. Friday, March 18th. Amen? Amen? This Friday night, March 18th at 630, uh, it's, the theme is Set the World on Fire. You guys are more excited when I asked if you were sisters. Set the world on fire. That's better. Praise God. And, just, and, and appropriately, the meal will be barbecued beef meal. So I think it's theme-oriented. Praise God. Child care is available. Sisters, you guys, honestly, you do such a great job, and I mean that sincerely, with, with bringing others into the kingdom. Amen? And so, uh, you know, please be aware that there's someone that doesn't know Jesus. So bring someone with you. That's what will make it better. More people in this place is better. Amen? We don't need dance room. We need more souls. Okay? So how many of you sisters are going to make an effort to bring somebody that hasn't come before or doesn't know the Lord? Do I see more? Do I see, do I see five, 12? Make an effort, okay? Praise God. Easter baskets. Everyone here, um, the church is, is so thrilled and so grateful for the work that's been done. And they've actually tallied up where we're at because Sunday, Easter, March 27th, they're going to pass out Easter baskets to all the kids ages 2 to 11. So no one's going home empty. No kid is going to feel like they're not loved or, you know what I mean? And, and we all know there's a lot of broken families in here and, and outside. So these Easter baskets are one way of expressing love and inclusion. That's important. So those that are able, those that have done, praise God. If you're still able, they're looking now for small stuffed animals. Don't get the big ones. They won't fit in the basket. Foam sports balls, trucks, dolls. So they need toys, small toys. And so if you're able to, that's where the need is. We've got the baskets. Apparently, we've got the candy. We've got dentists lining up to get contracts with us. But we need the small toys. It's very important. So if you could, that'd be uh, greatly appreciated. And there's a big box. You can't miss it coming in the entrance. So uh, you'll find it. Movie night. It's been a long time since we've had a movie night here. So if you're tired of trying to find a movie to be able to go to where you don't have to get up and leave or apologize or repent afterwards, being sincere, uh, inspirational movie night for the family is going to be Friday, March 25th at 7 p.m. There will be popcorn. Invite a friend. The movie will be Do You Believe? And it's a story of a minister who gets all fired up in all the people's lives that he's touching. So Friday, March 25th, you have somewhere to, something you can do on your social calendar. Come on down. Amen? All right, last but not least, uh, Franklin Graham, Billy Graham's son, is going to be in town March 18th um, at 12 o'clock. So that's Friday at 12 for you to come and pray with Franklin Graham. He's challenging Christians to pray for the country and take a stand for their faith. Amen? Yeah, there you go. And that's, uh, he's going to be at 1700 West Washington, the Capitol House of Representatives. It's the Capitol. That's the House of Representatives lawn. I, I do want to say this. If any of us is actually looking for salvation through, and I mean this sincerely, through our presidency, we're, we're missing it. We're not. Look at this campaign. We're not going to find the answers. We're not. We need to be praying that, that salvation would come to those who claim to be Christians, think they're Christians, the government, because we're in trouble. And we might as well sober up and just be honest and admit it instead of going with the rest of the crowd saying it's all good because it's not. Okay. Deception is not a characteristic of someone running for government. They used to be called public servants. In other countries, leaders are called ministers because the idea is they're serving the country, not themselves. I feel better now. Thank you. Praise God. So let's start praying because we need to. Amen? It's getting dark. It just is. Praise God. There you are. Pastor John, would you pray for the offering? Oh. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we are so blessed to be in this country in spite of all of the things that are going on. And we're so grateful for the opportunity, the privilege, and the honor to be part of your family, to be receiving your grace and kindness, and to be able to give to help out others, to help make a difference, to help bring light and truth in this dark, dark world. Father, we ask you, Lord, for more souls. We ask you for more finances. We ask you for just a greater heart and, and wisdom to make the difference in this hour. Lord, we, we're asking for nations. We're asking for nations, Father, that a difference would happen. What happens here would go out and around the world and come back. That people would stop walking in darkness, perversion, ignorance, selfishness, stubbornness. 
Lord, that, that people would come into the kingdom, people would come back to the kingdom. So we're asking for finances, souls, a harvest, and we're asking you to get all the glory and nothing less. Flex your muscle in this hour, God, in the name of Jesus. Please remain seated.
turn our eyes from evil things. Oh Lord, we cast down our idols. Give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. And give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. It can't let us be a generation that seeks, that seeks your face. Oh, oh God, Jacob, it can't let us be a generation that seeks, that seeks your face. Oh, God, Jacob. Spirit, come make us humble. We turn our eyes from evil things. Oh Lord, we cast down our idols. So give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Keep us clean hands, keep us pure hearts, let us not put our souls to another. May God let us be a generation that seeks, that seeks your face, oh God, Jacob. May God let us be a generation that seeks. Seek your face, oh God, Jacob. Oh, we seek your face, oh God, Your hearts, let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean hands, give us your hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Oh, how great is 
our patience. Our faithfulness. Make that personal. My God. How great is my God? How great is my God? How great is my God? How great is how great is my God?
glory. All the glory. Started, he will bring to completion. Come on, every hand lifted up. Praise God. It's gonna be all right. For what he's doing in our midst right now. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And for what he's about to do. Praise God. For what he's done, for what he's about to do, and for what come on, praise God one more time. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. My God. Praise God, praise God. Praise God. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. I don't know how. Praise God. Praise God. But praise God. God. He's got it covered. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Our job is to believe. God's job is for the miracle stuff. Amen. How? What? We just have to believe, no matter where we're at here tonight, that we put our faith in Him and follow Him. He'll take care of the rest. And how it happens, the delivery of the miracle, we don't have to worry about what package or how it comes. But one thing we can do is praise Him right now for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Federal Express and the Spirit's coming your way. Something good's about to happen. If you believe it, come on now. Praise Him for what's about to happen and it's going to be good. For His glory. For His glory. For His glory. One more says, just stop, don't stop. I just gotta. Do you know this one?
Jesus, it washes white as snow. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. It washes. Father, we thank you for this night. Thank you for this day. 
Thank you for this night. This opportunity once again to gather together this moment to be able to lift up your name. We are thankful. Thankful. Thank you for your son Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Jesus, thank you for the cross. And precious Holy Spirit. Our comforter. Continue to have your way in this place. Your church. It's your church. It's your people. Your will to be done, your name to be glorified. Your will to be done, your name to be glorified. Thank you for sit down I understand but can you look in the camera real quick too and let you look at it and point in the camera and tell everybody at home God is crazy about you and he hasn't given up on you and he loves you believe that shout hallelujah praise the Lord before you're seated in the presence of the Lord before you're seated in the presence of the Lord just to look a few people and say you're in the right place at the right time for the right thing now I'll say it just like but you got to say it just like that that quick too are you ready right place right time for the right thing that was about 70 percent got it right okay ready you got to do it under five seconds right place right time right thing ready one two three go that's pretty good amen that's really good amen praise the Lord if you're glad to be here say good amen um, brother Greg here just wants to uh, uh, Craig wants to share say thank you and a few other things I well I want to I want you to just kind of briefly just take a, uh, uh, a few minutes share your testimony a little bit and kind of how you ended up to this place right here uh, before he does that, I just want to let you know, yes, this is our year. This is the year. Can I get some agreement? All right. And I, I and it looks like I got my tickets for the, the Cubs already for April already. Amen for the game, one of the games. So praise the Lord. And when, and, and when it happens, we'll know that, man, with God, all things are possible. Amen? Okay, so, so why don't you just, just share, like, kind of like where you were, what's been going, how do you end up, you know, um, coming to the church, or who, you know, just kind of who brought you here, and um, encourage, and then do what you wanted to do with, you know, is what you wanted to share. Praise God. When he, he, he actually gave me this, so I have to give him some time on the pulpit. Amen? First off, I just want to thank God and... Um... Without him, I'm just a wreck. Um, so, what, eight, nine months ago, I started coming to church with Cosmina first Friday. Um, I was like 155 pounds high, just 
And I never could get it right. Always addicted to something until, um, so, so I found God. Um, and I've broken from that addiction. And yeah, praise God. Yeah, take it, all glory. Yeah. Uh, and uh, six months ago, uh, DCS, they took my son. And it was just uh, rough. You know, I had him my whole life, and he's six now, so. Uh, it would have been easy to give up, but I pressed in and you know just dug in at the church and and um, God he'd always let me know he was there whether I was at uh, resurrection and cleaning and leaving little love letters from the Bible, pages ripped out of the Bible on the ground that said uh, first thing in there it said love justice and that's my son's name Pick, like I picked it up and I crumpled it and someone's like read it so I read it and it said love justice first line uh, so I was like oh so he let me know he was there and you know, just he's just been loved me the whole time and um, you know I got a call today from DCS and they're gonna start the reunification process next week so, uh, yeah. you. Thank everybody here for your prayers, everyone who came and helped, um, for the signs that you guys made for justice. He read them and he cried when he was reading them. He said he wanted to read the, them more next time because he was crying. He was upset and he was happy. He can't wait to come to church too. So, um, yeah. the Lord's using him over uh, at the place he's at now. Some of you know where the place he's at, and um, he's. Giving Jesus the, you know, the daps and up to, he's doing that with the kids in the foster home. So he's being used there and um, just all the glory to God I couldn't do without him. So thank you. Come on, I'll celebrate it with him. Amen. One more time. Come on. Oh, come on now. Hey Amen. If you, if, you, if you have your Bibles, quickly, just for a few minutes. First Samuel chapter 22, starting in verse 1. First Samuel chapter 22, starting in verse 1. And as you're turning there, I just want to take a moment and just um, address everybody watching at home and I'm sure some people will be able to watch the recording and everybody here. Um, uh, I want to say this before I get started, that um, the, the church, us, starting with me, the staff, all the way down, but starting with me first, that we can do much, much better. Um, what do I mean by much, much better? Uh, the church is a hospital. It's a hospital. It's an emergency room. And there's a lot of injuries and a lot of different types of people that come in from different types of accidents and injuries and cuts and brokenness and and we have to be very careful and sensitive on how we treat and address the injuries sometimes we can miss or how would I say this we can you, you do something for a while and you can become complacent and and you forget the reason and you forget that this is not about us this is about people 
we sometimes forget also that we were in that emergency room then watch this you get to a place where you don't even realize you're back in yourself and we have to be very careful very patient because where would we be if it wasn't for the patience of God and the people he surrounded us for stretches of time the church is a hospital that has us no matter what the injury might be it has every solution to bring the healing and the restoration for every single person that comes in and we have to get to the place where have we now if someone decides to leave the emergency room on their own you know we can't people have choices but let not the church be the reason they have left. That we have done everything we can to bring the help, no matter how long maybe the operation might take for some, how bloody and ugly it might be, because some of the injuries are, they're ugly, they're, they're, they're messy. And it's not comfortable but we should be able to go home at the end of the night look in the mirror and say did we do everything possible and if the the answer to the question when you're looking in the mirror is no there's a problem because the church is an emergency room and from that emergency room the church is to impact the city and make the city better so I just want to take a moment and say we can do better I know I can do better and I ask for forgiveness in, to anybody watching at home or here if we have ever hurt them offended them in any kind of a way instead of being there to help we actually made the situation worse where if they had heard maybe that's the place you can go get help at and then if they've come and it contradicts what they heard how devastating can that be for somebody because I know if that was the case for me and I was injured and broken and on my last leg you know what I'm talking about where you're ready to give up to suicidal thoughts all that stuff and I was told that you can go here to this hospital and get the help you need and then you come and it's contrary to that how devastating or devastated would you be if that was you coming in and where would that leave you coming out I know certain times you can't you know it's not you know you've done the best you can and it is what it is but have we done the best we can so when they do come it confirms what they heard out there and in the end he gets all the glory so I just want to say if we've hurt anybody 
um, in any kind of a way. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, I mean, you just, sometimes you just you forget why you're here and what we're doing, what, what this is all about. Not you forget, but you just it becomes mechanical. I don't know. I just does that make sense? And not, there's something wrong with that. That you just can't, you can't, just, you can't keep moving on like that. You can't. We can't keep doing. We gotta. It has to be about the people. Not about us. It's not. Listen. It's not fire and it's not. It's fire and water. No, no. It's his church. His people. And we need to do the best and we can do better. And by the grace of God, I promise here tonight that we will. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Are you in First Samuel? Now I know you're looking at the time, maybe, and you're saying, "Man, it's like, is he gonna? When we're we gonna get out of here?" I'm just, just give me like 15 minutes, and I'm done. Are you all right? Are we all right? <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Watch out, cause I, 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 no matter what condition I'm in, how tired I, I can do two hours anytime. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. David left Gath and escaped to the cave of Adullam. When his brothers and his father's household heard about it, they went down to him there. Next verse. I love this. Here we go. This is where we're going to pick up here from last Sunday. And those who were in distress or in debt or discontented, like look at somebody, you know, they were a mess. I look at somebody I say they were outcasts oh, what did they do they gathered around him and let's make sure another thing at this point that that group that gathered around him at the time David was also an outcast himself because he was running for his life he was let me say it like this King Saul was looking for him to take him out we don't understand Saul is the authority the, the, the and David is kind of like an outlaw at this point so the outcast David at this point is running for his life he is not at a place in his life where everything's going good i could tell you he is not sleeping well at night stress is a little bit high i would think living conditions he was he's in, in a cave so living conditions were not what they used to be. He's, 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 he's struggling. He's, he's lost some things and stress is high. Pressure is intense from all sides. And I would even go, and it's safe to say, because the conditions position that he's in right now now sometimes we are in a position and we understand why the pressure is high because of the things we have done to put ourselves here but some of this stuff 
and where he's at at this point, I could see him thinking to himself, I don't even understand what I did wrong. Because he was serving faithfully his king. I could just see him trying to figure this thing out. <laughs> Anybody been there? I'm... <laughs> If there was a list, my name would be on top. I'm like the person that just sits there. What is going on? Why is this happening? So forth and so on. I could just see him, the battle, the fight, the attack in the mind. So here he is, David, on the run. Difficult stretch, uncomfortable stretch. And the Bible says that the ones that gathered around him were not the ones that were doing well themselves either. You know, you'd think at least a few people that showed up can have some answers or some favor and some influence they were outcasts themselves and the bible says that they gathered around him gathered around him and he became their leader about 400 men were with him What's interesting here is this. I said on Sunday, that these 400 men, many, later on became the foundation, the pillars of the ministry that God raised David to, to lead and to impact a world. Well, I'm going to say that again. These outcasts that showed up and surrounded David in his worst hour later became pillars in a worldwide ministry. The outcasts gathered around the outcast. They gathered. In other words, they came and supported and encouraged and sowed into. David's life. They stood next to him and and David stood next to them and I don't think that they would have accomplished the destiny and their purpose that God had called them to if they had this going on if every one of them started to talk about their past i don't see that happening because you cannot keep looking to the past now there's moments you look back so you can learn from it but there's a point where you just got to let it go understand that god is forgiven He's good. He's merciful. We learn from it. We grow from it. And then you move forward. You can't keep looking back because anyone looking back cannot move forward because the past will always keep us hostage to our future. It'll keep us and paralyze us 
and bring fear into our lives, it'll mess us up from taking that step of faith, Peter. Step out of the boat. Because how can I look at Jesus when I'm looking back? Okay. They were a mess. Everyone has a story. Issues. But the Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Okay, okay. Somewhere, we look up, put our faith in God, and understand what God can do, as I said on Sunday, when we take our issues and our brokenness and the past, and they were outcasts, they were they had, they had a track record, and some of it was pretty ugly, and maybe some were in church, not just out of church. I'm talking not just ones that weren't saved. I'm talking maybe some were saved, and so do you see David, and then David's a mess too. I mean, pretty much everybody's a mess here. This is, but something's happening here. Do you see it in this text? Something is happening. They all gather around him. He's on the run. They're a mess. He's run. But something starts to happen and is happening when they all got together. And we understand the Bible says that David was a man after God's own. And we know that David took out a lion and a bear and took out a giant and and he always referred to his God. And so we know there was relationship and faith in God. So now here he is afterwards. So we know the situation is messy. But we know the leader has faith in God. He's seen the power of God. He's seen the breakthroughs. He's seen God flex his muscle on his behalf and God show up and show off. So what's this? So, 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 so they gathered around a man. That the Bible says, well, it was a man after God's own heart. And later, God raises up this group that didn't start strong that had some liabilities going in or maybe the people around the world they live in would in the beginning look at them or within the church after some time saying I knew it I knew they weren't going to make it. I knew something was up. Look at them. I knew, I knew something was up over here. I know that I, and, 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 and they've been looked down upon and spoken on and assumed on. As I said on Sunday, we got to stop assuming. Assume, if we're going to assume, assume the best for somebody. Because death and life and the power of the tongue, Proverbs 18, 21. Let's be part of the solution, not the problem, amen. When we're walking by faith and not by sight, and we're walking in the Word of God, we are solutions to problems. We should not be problems to the solution. Woo, Jesus. Some of you are saying, what's happening with Pal? Yes, a lot's happening with me, amen. 
I'm learning that I got got some changes around here. Amen. I said there's got to be some changes around here. Amen. Are we all right? We are supposed to be solutions. If we're not bringing the solution, we just need to keep our mouth shut. The, the emergency room, the doctors, under, should be the, the solution, trying to bring the solution, the solution, the solution. Not sit there going, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, no, no, the solution. What else can we do? What else? What, what we, well, let's try that. If it ain't part of the solution, get out of the operating room yeah yeah go in the waiting room for a little while get it together before you come back in so here this group that I could tell you right now did not look the part <laughs> that maybe had been rejected by society, looked down upon, made fun of, laughed on, criticized on, all of it. But thank God that man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. And God saw something here. And, 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 and this group becomes the pillars you know, the vice presidents and, the, and the, the, the heads of different ministries and not just locally but worldwide. David becomes king and later bec and, 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 and this group, and uh, we, we know because the Bible talks about they become like uh, uh, um, David's fighting men that he talks about. And I don't got time to talk about that right now. But this is some of this group right here that was looked down upon. These outcasts now are in leadership positions and here it is and they're impacting a world around them because watch this because they 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 were the broken they were the ones that were looked down and now uh, God has done something in their lives God has has restored and healed and delivered and, and 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 has raised up and now they're going forward and they're able to reach others and impact others around them and 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 touch lives around them with great compassion because they were the ones that were looked down upon and now they know what God can do with a group uh, with a life that, that 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 trusts God and 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 takes their brokenness takes their liabilities and gives them into the hands of God what I'm trying to say is I said on Sunday your liability can become the greatest asset for the glory of God your mess your liability the thing you're going through, the thing you've been through, how great, how ugly, how nasty, doesn't matter. If you give it to God, your liability can turn around and become your greatest asset. If you believe that, shout yes. Your greatest asset. It pushes you and it propels you. The thing that was trying to take you out becomes the thing that pushes you forward. The thing that was take, trying to take you out is this thing that raises you up to shine, to be bright, to be a solution. We know that they went forth and took over and possessed and overcame and great victories worldwide, not locally, worldwide. Greatness. I said greatness. Greatness. 
But what's powerful is this, is they gather around him. They sowed into him. What do I mean? Encouragement. Love. Mercy. I can't see them sitting around him. If there was no mercy and grace and some forgiveness, I just see a lot of Jesus operating here. I just see a lot of forgiveness going on. A lot of, hey, stop looking back. Let's go now. Come on now. I, I see a lot of, I, I, I just see a lot of encouragement. I see a lot of life being spoken. I, I see not people are looking down on anybody here in this group. And with they, I, I just see a, a lot of building up going on. I see a lot of like, you know what, come on. We're going to be all right. Let's stick together. Let's, let's work on this. Hey, I just see, I just see, I, I, I could even see like a couple of them just jumping out. Maybe David at one point and then some other, maybe in the beginning was, because maybe because David's, you know, where he was at. And, the, and, and then they come along and maybe a couple of them just jump in and say, hey, you know, I know it looks bad right now, but you know what? I see, I see something great's about to happen. I see God turning this around. I see what the enemy meant for evil, God's going to turn for good. I see this is going to be for the saving of many lives. I see all things working together for the good, for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. I see that we can do this through Christ who strengthens us. I see that everything's going to be all right. I see that what he's started, he's going to bring to completion. I see it's not the way we start this thing, it's the way we finish. Come on now in the name of Jesus. Shall yes. Watch it. I don't care where you're at. You're alive right now. And I'm here to tell you, God is raising up champions here. Because there's time if we give our liabilities to him. I said he's raising up champions in this place. Some of you are thinking, well, who is he talking to? Yeah, you. Amen. Look at him and say, he's talking to you. Now do me a favor. Now do, do me a favor. Just point your finger at me and say, you too. One more time, please. Thank you. I needed to hear that. power of our tongue and it's not and that's 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 bible based what we just said right there that's christ based that's the word amen uh, so but what they did was i could see them gather they gather around them so real quickly what i'm trying to say is right now we all have this opportunity and it's this we have the opportunity to sow into somebody's life in the midst of our liability as God is working and bringing us to the place of asset to look at somebody else and speak life gather around them don't tear down build up we have an opportunity to gather around people in the church gather around the leadership of the church vice versa to gather around one another and speak life and have mercy and let go of bitterness and unforgiveness and understand just like we've been injured and hurt maybe by some things we've done the same to others so let's stop looking back and let it go let's learn through this whole thing and let's be like Christ let's forgive let it let us be more patient with one another let us uh, build one another up let us speak life to one another uh, because when you well, let's encourage one another uh, let's 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 bring let's let, let, let's bring hope to one another amen uh, let's not speak to where we're at right now but let's speak where God wants to take us amen and, and, and I'm telling you 
it's a powerful thing because they gathered around him and it's that group that become the pillar of the worldwide ministry but it started when they gathered around him it, they, they encouraged somebody that was down they 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 they, they, they um they, they gathered around somebody that was running he was running and they, so they didn't go to some to a place where everything's perfect they, they went with an outlaw they gathered around somebody that was a mess they, they didn't go to the comfortable place they went to the young they went he what did the bible say in a cave are you getting what i'm saying and they got around that person that wasn't sleeping good that had some issues also that was a mess and, and they gathered around him and i believe they picked him up they encouraged him they, 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 they got around him and as they did that for him man after god's own heart now watch this they were sown into the lord because when you when you're sharing encouragement and forgiveness and mercy and love and patience and, and all these things, you're, you're, you're sowing life. You're sowing God. You're sowing Jesus. You're, you're sowing your solution. What's going to come back to you? When you're pointing to somebody that's down and needs healing and, and you pray for them and you pray for them and you, and you pray for them and you don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't gossip or criticize or speak negatively but you pray for them no matter what it looks like no matter what it seems like or what we think it is we pray for them that group ends up going forward that group the bible lets us know They gathered around him ends up out of that group the Bible says it formed the core of his military leadership team that produced what the Bible says were his mighty men that accomplished ridiculous ridiculous crazy feats for the glory of God like 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 the Bible talking about like one like one man would take out a thousand people or something That'd be kind of cool, amen? But it's in the Bible. This is the group that started off with all sorts of liabilities. But your liability here tonight, what the enemy's trying to use to repeat it and remind you of, to keep you down, God is saying that liability can become your greatest asset watch this real quick and we're done just real quick I just want to second uh, Samuel chapter 23 verse 8 I think it is second Samuel 23 is that the one now 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 right here some of these names right here were the ones that gathered around him in the cave Well, to tell me, tell me, look at what, why don't you read it? Yeah, all right, see. These are the names of David's mighty men. Okay, all right. And now, these are the ones that gathered around him in the cave Joseph, Bashanbeth, and Tecamanite. You know why I'm making you read it? Because I can't read those names. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Who, whose chief was the three? He raised his spear against 800 men, whom he killed in one encounter. Amen. Straight up. I wasn't lying. I, uh, I just want to get to the 800 men killed in one encounter. Amen. I could do that. But this is back. It started when they gathered the one. So the li liabilities right here become their assets because somewhere along the line you stop looking back you start looking forward in how God sees you 
and understanding that your heart, your liabilities, and everything, when you place it in his hands and you start to walk by faith day by day, this is where you end up accomplishing greatness. And I'm here to say here tonight, every single person here and watching at home, God's called us to greatness. Not so we can glorify ourselves or make a name for ourselves. And sometimes it's these liabilities that remind us that we're nothing without him. Sometimes some of our liabilities bring us to a place to reveal our pride also. And once we understand that, then our liabilities become assets for the kingdom. And then we impact the world and bring life and hope to others. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I decree and declare to you here tonight, for every single person, the church, and watching at home, over the city, the latter will be greater than the former, the finish greater than the start, the best is yet to come. God is at work. Don't give up, but give it to God. And be the champion that God has called you to be. Be the woman of God that God's called you to be. Be the man of God that God's called you to be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If we could stand to our feet, praise God. So right now where you're at, start looking for opportunities to be a blessing, to bring life, to encourage, to pray, to forgive, to be merciful, to just, just, just speak solutions, build up. And you're giving life and life's going to come back into your situation. Healing's going to come back to your situation. Deliverance and breakthrough is going to come back to your life. Quickest way to see a breakthrough is take the focus off yourself. Learn from your mistakes, learn from your liabilities, and how you become assets is quickly take the focus off yourself and start to be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. It's an amazing thing what God can do with a group that comes together humbly, understanding where they were and who brought them through. he can do with a group of outcasts just want to give everybody an opportunity right now here tonight before we dismiss if you've never given your heart to the Lord and the Bible says it's just like this those who call upon his name shall be saved period that's where it starts or maybe some of you have fallen away and you're like prodigal sons and daughters of God it's not too late to come back back to the house but I've been away for so long but when the prodigal son decided to turn back and he came to his senses he went back home he was just just trying to get back in just anything when he came back the father ran to him which is letting us know that God is waiting for all of us yeah to, he's waiting he's waiting not with anger, but with love. And the Bible was very clear that what was, they had a party, they had a celebration and ring and robe. And in other words, all of it symbolizing that he was restored back to the place he was before. Wait a second, shouldn't have that taken about 50 years? Doesn't he deserve it? I mean, that would mess somebody up. I don't know about you, but I mean, you know within seconds when he decided to go back he was restored back to where he was before if you pray this prayer remember it's not the way you start it's the way you finish god is not intimidated with your sins but he died for every one of your sins but let's 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 work on this thing amen let's let's get it right let's 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 get moving in the right direction he loves you. It's not too late. 
So let's pray this prayer together. Heavenly Father, I need you. Help me. Can't do this alone. I need you. I believe you sent your son for me on this earth to die for me. And I believe those who call upon his name shall be saved. And I believe that he rose from the grave, that he's a risen king. So Jesus, I ask you to come to my heart, be Lord and Savior of my life. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me with your precious blood and renew a right spirit within me. I believe I've been forgiven. My best, best days are ahead. I'm on my way to heaven and I am a solution to many starting this night in Jesus name can someone say amen if you're if you just prayed that prayer for the first time or maybe you haven't been in church in a while there's information there's free Bibles in the bookstore fill out that card so we can follow up and help you with your Christian walk that's another thing we're gonna start working on especially people that come into the church for the first time follow up there's work to be done there in our follow-up with new Christians and follow-up. Amen. We're going to do better. So, 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 uh, to help you with your walk and to get this thing going in the right direction. But right now we do have free Bibles and there is a card there to fill, for you to fill out so we can uh, uh, follow up and, 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 and go from there. Amen. Very important to get in church. Get in church somewhere. We'd love to have you be in this church. Uh, 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 if you're visiting from a long ways away, we can help you find a church. We'll do our best. Uh, 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 if you're glad that you came to church tonight, can you say good amen? Praise the Lord. God bless every one of you. Praise God. Here in your love, here in your love, no place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. Here in your love, here in your love. No place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be, no place I'd rather be set up by. Yeah.